more and more military men and women are returning home from war, trapped by their own disabilities with nowhere to live. Designing Spaces has called together a team to help, and together will provide Jeffrey and his family a place they can call home. They put their lives on the line. Now it's time to give back. This is Designing Spaces Homeward Bound. This is John Galena and Dale Beatty. They are the co-founders of Purple Heart Homes, an organization that gives back and makes a difference in the lives of service-connected veterans of all conflicts. For the first time, Purple Heart Home is giving a house to a military family in Florida. Private First Class Jeffrey Taylor and his family will soon be calling this house in Jacksonville, Florida, their own. Volunteers and crew are also busy working on the backyard. After laying dirt and leveling the field, the sod is thrown down. With such a big backyard, the Taylors will surely need a storage room. That's exactly why Designing Spaces invited Darren Gunnell from Lifetime Products to talk about the ins and outs of an outdoor shed. What kind of questions should people ask themselves before purchasing one? Well, there's a couple of different questions they should ask. First of all, what type of material they want to use. Um, each material has different advantages and disadvantages. For example, there's wooden sheds, subject uh, to maintenance and mm -hmm. weather and termites and things like that. Mm -hmm. There's a uh, plastic or polyethylene shed. The advantages of this material, which is newer and is becoming more and more popular, is that it's weather resistant and almost as durable as a wood shed. Now, what size shed? Like, how do you determine what size shed you need for your backyard? We always tell people, uh -huh. buy bigger than what you think you oh, need. Ah, bigger is always out. better. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Lifetime sheds are designed as kits, so it can be a do-it-yourself project. We say about uh, two to three people, four to five hours to put together. Really? Uh, we have a contractor putting ours together here today because we're in a hurry, yeah. and he'll put it together in about an hour. What we recommend is, uh, uh, first of all, a concrete base. Ah. That's the best. Make sure it's really level. If you can't do that, gravel base works, or asphalt, okay. or even some some patio type pavers works oh, well. Oh, so wow. Just make sure it's really level and flat before you begin your shed. Exactly. We don't want to. And where can we learn more? Well, we have a lot of different articles about sheds on our website lifetime.com or you can buy them at uh, regular clubs or warehouses such as Sam's Club or Lowe's. Okay well thank you so much we really appreciate it. Darren. Thanks for having me.